Hi, my name is Bob Carroll. I'm your host for today on Re Employee Relations Words of Wisdom and the Executive Vice President at Permanent Solutions Labor Consultants. Welcome to the show. I wanted to talk about something people ask us all the time. Why are we so focused on unions outside of the United States besides doing business out of the U.S. from time to time? Uh, we have to keep an eye on what's going on in, in the, from a global perspective because the union movement really is taking on more and more of a global impact. And there's one union that I want to talk about today that a lot of people that I talk to in my travels aren't, aren't familiar with. It's actually a global union federation called Industrial. They've been around since 2012 and they've really grown and started making a huge impact all around the world. I mean, they've been just recently Google Industrial, visit the website, but look at all the countries they're involved with. I mean, just some of the articles that come to mind, I've seen them in the Congo, uh, I've seen them in Southeast Asia, I've seen them in Myanmar, I mean, all over the world. They're, they're very heavily involved. And I'm on their website right now, so I'm going to read you a little bit about what they're all about. It says, Industrial Changes the Power of Multinational, I'm sorry, Industrial Challenges the Power of Multinational Companies and Negotiates with Them on a Global Level. Industrial Fights for Another Model of Globalization and a New Economic and Social Model that Puts People First Based on dem Democracy and Social Justice. Now, that social justice is their key word because they are using all of the social events going around the world right now to build a base and just be, frankly, rather successful. It goes on to say, industrial strives to build stronger unions, organize and increase union membership, fight for trade union rights, fight against precarious work, build union power to confront global capital, promote industrial policy and sustainability, promote social justice and globalization, ensure equal rights and women's participation, create safe workplaces, and improve democracy and inclusiveness. Again, these are things that the world is latching on to in our time and day now. And what is kind of scary is we don't see industrial here in the United States much, but they certainly have U.S. representation. If you go on the website and you look at the About Us section on the industrial side, you'll notice that there are American unions that are part of this global federation. A couple that stand out, uh, Leo Gerard, he's had the steel workers involved with these guys for a couple years now. And I don't know if Leo is going to stay on as an executive committee member uh, since he announced his retirement, but he certainly did a, a good job at embedding the steel workers in on this global initiative. Another name that popped out to me was Cindy Estrada from the UAW. So we know the UAW is involved. We know that the steel workers are involved. And it's only a matter of time before we start seeing this kind of action in our country with this global federation in the US. So we watch all around the world to watch the methods they're using. And, and it is kind of uh, glaring uh, a glaring fact, when we had the all the teacher strikes last year, Industrial was the one that took that to a, a global level, and there was teacher strikes all over the world. Uh, they are learning from the unions here in the United States to fight stronger in places where the unions are typically not known for putting up the kind of a union campaign that we face here in the U.S., uh, but these countries are having, or people that are working in these countries and running business in, businesses in these countries are having a really tough time adjusting to some of the more hardcore tactics that we're used to as part of our everyday lives here in the U.S. In fact, I had a conversation with a colleague in England not too long ago, and things were so bad there, he couldn't even appear on a uh, Words of Wisdom video because he didn't want to be tied to someone that may speak out against the unions. They're, they're pretty strong and they're getting stronger on a global basis. And we got to watch that here in the U.S. As union membership is down, but they're not out. 
the unions are fighting for campaigns. They're fighting for new members, not just in other countries, but also here in the U.S. And I expect that fight to get even stronger. So I would recommend that anybody that sees this video, check this group out. Again, it's industrial, I-N-D-U-S-T-R-I-A-L-L. -L. Give it a Google search. Go through their site. Look at all the things that they've accomplished. They are very successful around the world. Luckily for us here in the States, like I said, we haven't seen them much, but we fully expect them to get more involved. With the steel workers in the UAW attached to them, it only makes sense. And there's other global federations out there, but this one's really taking shape, and everybody should educate themselves with what's happening with industrial and what's happening with labor relations and union organizing around the world. It's a pattern. You'll notice a pattern. You notice that they are connecting to the social justice cause and using that as their platform to get support, especially from the younger workers who are entering the workforce that believe in these social causes. They believe in these changes. That's how we raise them to believe. So we have to be able to communicate with our younger workers, to educate our younger workers, to actually sympathize with our younger workers who are coming into a workforce with a whole other generation, with a whole other set of beliefs. Uh, and industrial and other labor groups are taking advantage of that right now. So that's it for our, our employee relations words of wisdom this week. I wanted to give you something new, something fresh. And for those of you, again, if you have not heard of industrial, check them out. Make sure you're on a watch for them. They are growing, and they're growing rapidly still since forming in 2012. I'll see you next week on Employee Relations Words of Wisdom. And if you like what you see, please remember to hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. That way fresh content will be delivered right to your email. And if you're watching us on other forms of social media like uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever it may be, Twitter, uh, please hit the like, share it, let the world know, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.